Hey guys, it's Jeremy here on Metal Music Meltdown, back with another video. We'd have today, guys, is the starting of a new series called the Top 10 Bands of Each Country. And I wanted to bring to you guys some new content. I started the other series, the Top 20 Albums of Each Metal Subgenre, so definitely check out my Thrash episode for that. And the other series I wanted to start to kind of mix things up and add new content was, my, again, like I said, my Top 10 Bands of Each Country. And I figured what, what country better to start with than my home country of Canada. Really good metal scene here, some really good bands, some bands you might not even realize they're from Canada. And I compiled a list of my top 10 favorites. Uh, good mix of stuff in here. And I'll list some bands at the end that I didn't didn't quite make my list or that I would like to mention based uh, from their from that country that I really like still. Uh, so I'm just gonna jump right in. I'm not gonna say too much about each band, maybe uh, my favorite album from them or why I picked them. Starting at number 10, went with uh, Canadian hard rock band Triumph. Uh, Triumph is one of those bands that's super underrated in my opinion. They always kind of were in the shadow of Rush. Uh, they came out, came out around the same time period. Uh, they even toured with Rush a lot uh, throughout the years. But just a really good hard rock band, uh, really good albums, really good lead singer, lead, lead singer and uh, guitar work. Uh, Allied Forces is probably my favorite uh, al album from the band. Uh, Progressions of Power is really good too. Uh, just a Game is a classic album as well. And their debut album is actually pretty good too, from uh, 76. Uh, but yeah, really good band. If you're not familiar with these guys, definitely check them out. Super underrated band. Had to make my list. At uh, number nine, this might be surprising to some people that I have them this low on the list. It might be blasphemy. But I put the uh, Thrashers uh, Voivod. Uh, started off as a thrash band. They're from Quebec. And then it kind of evolved more into a progressive metal band. Um, I like their stuff. It was a band I never got super into quite as much as some other bands. That's why it's a little bit lower on my list, but I still dig some of their early material. Uh, the Roar album is killer. Killer Technology is probably my favorite from them. And uh, Dimension Hatros is really good as well. But all their albums are really, really solid. Um, they have a really unique sound. Don't sound like anyone else. And uh, if you're not familiar with them, definitely check them out. Great musicians all the way through. And just a really solid band. The um, heavy metal band, Cauldron. Uh, definitely a newer band. Um, they formed in 2006. They're so like a traditional heavy metal band. New wave of traditional heavy metal sound. They're from my home city of Toronto. Just a really, really good band I wanted to give more exposure to. Uh, they only have uh, five albums in total. Um, the first one, Chained uh, to the Night, is really good. The debut. Uh, I'm trying to see what else is here. Uh, the New Gods, even their last release in 2018, was really good. They're kind of due for a new album, to be honest. It's been, it's been a long time. But a really solid band. If you like that old-school heavy metal sound, done Canadian style, definitely check these guys out. Really, really good stuff. At number seven, I went with Sacrifice, another Canadian thrash band from Toronto. Uh, they formed in the 1980s. Really solid band. More of that really aggressive, heavy kind of... Uh, Thrash kind of reminds me of like Sodom. They're like more aggressive, kind of dirty sounding thrash metal. Uh, they didn't really put out a ton of albums considering how long they've been out. Um, but they have um, some good albums. Torment and Fire, uh, Forward to De uh, Termination, Soldiers of Misfortune. The first three albums are probably my favorite. But really solid albums from these guys, really heavy. I just wish they, over the years, they put out more, uh, more records. At number six, I went with uh, Canadian death metal, melodic death metal band, uh, Cataclysm. Really love these guys, been following them for years. They're from Montreal, Quebec. And standout albums for me. Um, I love uh, of Ghost of Gods uh, from 2015, I love that album. Um, I like Victims of the Fallen World is really good. Uh, Temple of Knowledge, the older stuff from, that's more kind of straightforward death metal. The last album in 2023 was Goliath, was really good too. Just a really solid band overall. All their albums are pretty solid. Uh, just really good guitar work, great melodic death metal. I prefer their more newer stuff that's more on the melodic death metal side, but the early material is really killer as well. Uh, definitely check them out. Really good live band as well. Uh, next I went with uh, Exciter at number five. Really good speed metal band formed in Ottawa back in 1978. They've been around forever. Um, Heavy Metal Maniac is probably their most popular album, their debut. Really killer album, fast, aggressive, super, the definition of speed metal, almost proto-metal. Some people might argue this was the uh, 
the Heavy Metal Maniac was the um, first thrash album because it does pr proceed. Uh, comes it came out earlier than uh, Kill 'Em All. That's why he's up to for a debate. Uh, my money's still with Metallica, but these guys had more of a speed metal sound, but very aggressive, very thrashy at the same time. So really, really good album. And then their other albums, Violence and Force, is really good. Uh, Long, uh, Long Live Live and Loud is really good. Long Live the Loud, I should say. I mis misread that. Uh, but really good band. Uh, I'm seeing them live soon, actually, this year. In August, I think it is, coming up soon. I'm seeing them with um, Midnight and Wraith. So that should be a really good show. Number four, I went with another thrash band from Canada, from Guelph, Ontario, called Razor. Another one of those kind of super grimy, kind of old school thrash metal bands. Uh, Executioner's Song. Uh, Violent Restolution is probably my favorite album from them with a cool album cover. Uh, Malicious Intent is a classic, Evil Invaders. All their early stuff is really, really good. Uh, their last album, uh, Cycle of Contempt in 2022 was pretty solid for a comeback album. It was their first album since 97. Pretty solid stuff, not their best. The early material is definitely the better. Shotgun Justice is another big one for them too. Another killer Canadian thrash band. If not familiar with them, definitely check them out. And number three, might be surprising to some people, but I have the Tea Party. And a lot of you might be thinking, who the fuck is the Tea Party? They were big in Canada. I know they were big in Japan as well. They didn't really break into the States as much. Um, I know a lot of people in the U.S. don't really know of them. They're like a progressive rock alternative band from Windsor, Ontario. Uh, they formed in, they were in the 90s, primarily was their kind of peak. Uh, they had a bunch of albums in the 90s, like seven, their first like seven albums. And then they... Um, had a gap between 2004 to, to 2014. They didn't put out any albums. And then they just recently put out an album in 2021. Uh, that one I still have to pick up. It's really good, but I haven't picked up a copy yet. Standard albums for me from them, though, uh, would be uh, Splendor Solace, the second album, Edges of Twilight. Um, Transmission's a killer album. Trip Titch is awesome. Interzone Mantra is awesome. Seven Circles is amazing. I'm pretty sure all these albums. I think I have all their albums except for the newest one. Um, I bought their 2014 release, The Ocean at the End, was really good. But if you like um, just really good hard rock, uh, kind of alternative, the lead singer is very like Jim Morrison vibes. Even looks like him a lot too. A lot of uh, Eastern Eastern music mixed in there, like sitars and stuff, really cool sound. They don't really sound like anyone else, but they have heavy guitars, really good songwriting, and just memorable songs. Definitely check these guys out if you're not familiar with them. Killer Band. Number two, I went with probably what most people would, would associate with Canada. I went with Rush. Uh, they're just a hard rock band. Of course, Getty Lee, Alex Lifeson, and uh, rest in peace, Neil Peart. Uh, did a huge discography starting back in 74. And their last album was 2012, Clockwork Angels. My favorite album from these guys would have to be uh, Moving Pictures for sure. I love 2112, I love, I love Fly By Night, I love the debut, I love Hemispheres, Farewell to Kings, Permanent Waves, like they have a ton of really good albums. Pretty much the early stuff from the debut up till, I'd say Signals in 82 is probably my stretch of the albums I like the best from them. Uh, in the 80s and 90s, they went really Sith heavy, heavy in the 80s. They had a lot of Sith heavy music, I wasn't really into it, like uh, Roll of Bones and Counterparts, Presto. Hold the Fire, wasn't really into those albums as much. Uh, but their last album, uh, Clockwork Angels, they went back to their kind of straightforward hard rock sound and it was really good. And number one, guys, I went with another thrash band, Annihilator. Probably the band I listened to the most from this list. That's why I went for number one. They're from Ottawa, uh, formed in 1984. Jeff Waters is one of my favorite uh, guitarists of all time. He's the only kind of main guy who's been in the band the whole time. They changed... A change of lead singer like all the time. I think that's one thing that, that really hurt them because I think their first four albums had a different lead singer for each album. So that's kind of the one thing that I wish they didn't do. But otherwise, really good albums. Most people know their first two albums, Alice in Hell and Never Neverland. They were to all time uh, thrash classics. But this is a band you can't sleep on their lady material. Even through the 90s, they put out some really solid albums. And their last one, like the Ballistic Sadistic, was really good. Um, all for You in 2004 was really good. Remains from uh, 97 was really good. King of the Kill, 94. Just some really good albums throughout the whole discography. 
Okay, guys, that's my list for my top 10 bands of, uh, for Canada. And just some quick honorable mention, some bands that didn't quite make my list or bands I wanted to give a quick shout out that are really good from Canada as well. Um, I didn't really put death metal on here too much. I, so you could mention uh, Cryptopsy or Gore Guts are really good as well. Um, the Last Wretch uh, is a newer death metal band that's really, really good. And I love their debut. I have their new album I haven't heard as much yet, but the debut's killer. A couple of new thrash bands that are really, really good. Corrosive. I can't speak highly enough about these guys. Probably I listened to those. They only had two albums out so far. I probably listened to those two albums more lately than I have any of these other bands on my list. But because they're so new, I didn't feel that it was fair to put them on a list. Uh, I wanted bands I had more time with and more history with. But, you know, a couple years from now, Corrosive would easily make my top 10. Killer through new thrash band, definitely check them out. Um, there's another thrash band from out west called uh, Hazard, really good band as well. Uh, there's Terrifier, another really cool thrash band that's really killer. And a uh, new band I just discovered, Fracture from Toronto, really killer band. Definitely check out my review of those guys and check it out on YouTube or go visit their band camp. Another really killer band from Canada. And there's a million other bands I'm probably not thinking of, like a really Canadian band would be like Tragically Hip. But they were like really local, like they're huge in Canada. They never really broke out anywhere else. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my list for Canada, guys. Stay tuned for the next country, which I believe will be the USA. Thanks for watching, guys. And keep it metal.